see, I think a lot of Aboriginal, Indigenous people, so-called, you know, whatever you want to call yourself. I call myself Moorish American, according to the prophet Noble Juali. And we are true Amarukans. The problem is we have a lot of Aborigines across the land that feel like true success is serving two masters till this day. Right. We think that real freedom comes with the stagnation of social engineering and colonization still privy on the land. And it's not possible. And we don't need it. And we don't want it. But this is why it's been so many years of being held back because we think success is about being successful in the world that was created on our world, on our land. When the real success is attaining the real love, truth, peace, freedom and justice in the heart. Because you got to get out of here. It's not about staying here. It's not about stacking up on the law of attachment. It's really about the law of detachment and getting away from this shit as much as possible. Because you know what? As much as we want to say peace, God, and call you a God and this God and this God, you really ain't God level until you don't need nothing. That's real success. Where is that? Why is that not being told to the children that what they already got coming in out the womb is really all they need? I really don't need this new chair. I really don't need this new shirt. I really don't need this new car. I really don't need all this new shit to bring on top of me. You see what I'm saying? The real aboriginal success is us really getting back to the fat of the land for real, for real. But if we cannot do that, if we continue to dismiss the most high, not just the universe, but the great God of the universe, what created the universe in the first place, the super womb, not just the womb, the love and the divine love, not just the love. The truth and the divine truth, not just the truth. We have to include the super supreme mother or else there's no real success and there's no real clarity of mind. Because what you see outside of you, this is not real success in this U.S. And it's not even land. It's a whole 3D grid. It's a whole software program. It's a whole matrix upload that you think is real. And you think you breathe in real air. Just like they said on the movie. When really we supposed to be breathing water and breathing wisdom. Because that's the only thing that's going to keep your tree of life uprooted. If you don't have that, how you going to enjoy this? If you can't get with that, how you going to get with this? You can't do this, <laughs> get with that. You see? No real life is sustained by material gain. No real life. No real life. We serve in two masters. It's too many, especially Moorish America, those that want to call themselves Moorish American, they all about commerce first. It's commerce first. What I'm going to do next to get this and get that and get this and get that. You see? This is why the, all the temples is dirty. Because it's about us only and fuck them. When the real temple is about to be we with us and we with them. He's telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. We telling the truth. Now let's get back to the divine. Because the divine is where we all came from. The vine. If we're not honoring the vine, then we ain't shit. We just running around. Empty vessel, empty soul. No real light. But this is where our ancestors went wrong. They started worshiping themselves more than worshiping what gave them self in the first place. Can't be more powerful than the most powerful. You can't be more gracious than the most gracious. Can't be more magnificent than the most magnificent. And we still not talking about outside of you. We talking in and everywhere. Don't forget that in and everywhere in and everywhere. You in a body. 
If you heal yourself, you helping to heal the earth and somebody else without even talking to them, without even meeting them, without even knowing them. Just the connection that you have with Mother Earth to say, hey, if somebody needs a blessing today, I need one from you. So let me give one. But we got away from the Godhead, the Godhood. We forgot how heroic and hero, heroic that really is. So do yourself a favor and don't come into the Moore's Divine and National Movement. Don't come into no Aboriginal Indigenous Movement. Don't come into nobody's movement unless your heart is right. Because the movement is all about saving yourself first. We're going to keep knocking you in the head with the law and it's so simple. You first. It's not selfish. It's about the self that's about the self of all of us. It's what we're trying to tell you. It's a whole community in you. It's a whole community in the world. And it's a whole community overseeing the world. Right? So we just love you. And we just all want to get back home. There is no more argument that's going to stop us from getting back home. Can't do it. There is no more confusion that's going to stop us from getting back home. You can't do it because we are ready home. We arguing <laughs> with each other in the house. We all in the house arguing with each other. When we going to get back to the house? I'm tired of you, nigga. Oh, you and you and you and so-and-so. Oh, I can't stand what's his name. But we all in the same house. Still, no matter where we go, we all in the same house. Just different corners. So we might want to go ahead and just get it right. And if you don't want to be more, you don't want to be more, you don't want to be more, that's fine. Just be Aboriginal then. Be an indigenous American. But be in the agreement of truth. If we can't agree on truth, meaning Ruth, big mama, big grandmama, the grand grandmama, then it's just opinion. Then it's just opinion. Then it's just opinion. When we agree with the mama's mama mama, the mama mama's mama, as a brotherhood and a sisterhood, then we could watch mountains move. And we ain't even got to put out no paperwork. We ain't even got to say nothing no more when we come together with real love and unity. This real more science. This real more, because it's all about that supreme covenant, that supreme halo. That rainbow that they made homosexual. You see? When it's about the mother and father in every aspect and every part of your mindset that you could think of because it's a mathematical equation that's bringing both lights, dark and marvelous, into one body, one system, one conglomerate. And they work together. Just like the ancestors work together when they have patriarchal and matriarchal, matriarchal and patriarchal, both sitting on the throne. But you got so many agendas today to just push that one only. No, push that one only. No, we're going to push us over here only. When it's about everybody, because if it's about the woman for real, then she created nations. So it's about her and us. This is why we say Allah and man. So you never forget. So you never forget. But that's it. They only going to give me 10 minutes on here. And I love you all. But, uh. We can only talk for increments at a time on this platform. Come see me on the YouTube. Come come get with me on the YouTube. Where for some reason we can talk freely over there. No, no censorship. But continue to love thyself and his long and great and glorious and fortunate days are to come. That means super supreme earth cleanse. Islam.